Hi everyone, just want to show you uh, mine and Jan's workstation. Not very good, is it? <laughs> Jan sits in this one, and I sit over here, and it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? So what we're going to do today is uh, drag this lot out and put something else a bit better back. So this video is how to kind of make a nicer workstation for two people. So without delay, we're going to strip this lot out now. Well, that's it all ripped out. Here's the space that we've got. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fit a, a kitchen worktop, which I think will make a lovely uh, workstation for the both of us, uh, and I'm going to fit it along this wall. So I'm going to show you how to do that now, uh, the batten the wall and uh, fit the worktop on. Right, next bit, measure the height that you want your top to be, there's ours where that line is there. Um, you need a couple of bits of wood for batten to put along the wall, uh, which we're going to do. Uh, we're going to need one of these things, a level, make sure this line is nice and level that goes round. Make sure when you do your batten that that goes nice and square through there, that it lines up with the, the line and then we're going to drill some holes through and it will be level and that when the top goes on that is the height that you want your worktop to be for you to sit under. So that's kind of a personal preference. Uh, what you like as your tabletop height is down to you. We've got ours and uh, this is what we're going to do for ours. Um, but that is up to you. So next bit, holes through the wood and then we're going to drill this batten and fit it to the wall. So we'll do that next. Okay, well there's our bit of batten up on the wall now, ready for, um, to take our work top. And um, now it depends whether you want to uh, put holes down through the wood like this to screw up into your work top or whether you want to use some L-shaped brackets. Both are okay, it's just to hold the top in place. Um, and of course the important bit now is to make sure you get your work top where you want it to be. We're aiming to end a couple of inches over this batten so that you don't see the batten from the edge too much. And um, we've got ourselves one of these chrome legs that we're going to use out here to hold this end. It's got to be cut down, uh, but we'll do that in a minute. So next tough job, next tough hard bit is cutting the work top. <laughs> well, we're nearly ready to put our top on now. I've got him all ready. Uh, I've cut the end now, the length that we want it. Um, I've put on some of these blocks. You can get L-shaped uh, brackets as well. And they're just really to, to screw through to hold the top so it doesn't um, pull away from the wall once it's in. It kind of holds the top there. So without delay now, I'm uh, going to get the top on. You will probably need a hand for this bit. <laughs> Two-handed. Right, then. got our top on now. Get your level, put it on the top there, all right, and just get it leveled so that when we put the leg under there, you can adjust it up and, and adjust that level. And you can just turn the leg on the foot at the bottom and get it right. Okay, it's pretty easy. Once you get your leg on, uh, there's an adjuster at the bottom there. You just keep turning it and it will adjust up, all right. Just there, it turns in and out because you've got about two inches of leeway on that. Um, now, as you look under there, obviously you can see it needs screwing through. There's a, a leg there to be screwed, there's one through there and one at the back. Um, I'll put blocks on the back at the three positions just to hold the worktop and stop it from pulling it away from the wall. Um, so now really we're getting on to uh, the finishing touches really which is our edges and um, getting all the equipment back on and uh, having a better workstation than what we had before with two, two funny old tables. So we'll, we'll get on now and show you the finished thing. Now, as you can see, we've made a hole in our worktop around this corner. Uh, the reason for that is to drop all our wires through, as you know, when you're wiring up a monitor and everything else, mouse and keyboards, a load of wires, um, and you need quite a big size hole to do it. Best to drill it before you put the worktop on. All right, it's easier, a lot easier to do it out on position than, than when it's in position, do it out of position. All right, that's just a little one from me. You can have it hold wherever you like. And if you're drilling further in, it doesn't matter. You can do it in position, but if you want it on the edge, uh, it's best obviously to do it when it's out before you fit it. All right, that's it. We're gonna stick everything back. Well, last finishing touches, um, these chairs, you know, we hate them. So we're gonna shabby sheet these now with our usual furniture paint and bring these up nice and white uh, to go with the unit that we're doing now. And to that end, Jan's uh, made a good start on them already and uh, they're going to come up lovely. I'm sure they'll be just great. Well, here we are, the finished project um, and 
you must agree, it tons better than those two tables that we had. Um, we should kind of had a butt up affair there. It looked a bit messy. This tied the whole thing up. It's basically a kitchen worktop. Um, I've used an end plate to finish the raw end off. Used black screws just to make it fit in and finish off nicely. And basically, redone the chairs, repainted them. They were that horrible wood. Uh, so we kind of shabby sheet the chairs, made them look a bit nicer. Jan done those. Um, and really that's the completed project. So here's our joint station now where we was kind of separating our own tables. Um, there's Jan's she used the laptop and she's obviously got a home help site that she's got to keep up and maintain because that's that's all her kettle of fish and of course you know where to go for home help it's uh, derrickton33.co.uk for Jans and then we come down to that, we've got a tea and coffee already to make another start this morning and obviously mine is derrickton33.com uh, you know where to go to look for that, anything on there as well uh, so we're kind of all set up, ready to go now, uh, and we're quite happy with the finished project. So if you've got a project in mind, and you want to ditch that old uh, workstation you've got that looks a bit, you know, they all look a bit tatty and crap, don't they? <laughs> and get something a bit more, uh, merely fixed, but, you know, uh, a much better finishing job. Alright, that's it then. Thanks very much for watching all our videos, you know where to go. Usual places, derrickon33.co.uk or .com. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.